Capricorn, it's me Stormy and here's your horoscope overview for 2019. Can you believe that? 2019 right here on the agenda and man, Capricorn, you have already had your ruling energy of Saturn in your sign for about a year. So you've been doing some work. Life has been coming into a space of new responsibility, a lot of discipline, but Saturn is that leveling up energy. So I have absolutely no, I no doubt that for several Capricorns, 2018 felt like a grow up year for sure. Now the real beauty of that, and I want to tell you this before I jump in, is that you've had a year with this energy maturing you, bringing some really big things to your table, maybe bringing a level of doubt, depression, but also movement in Hence responsibility to your table and what it does in this second year as it's here is you're a little bit more used to the energy so you can work with it differently at this time as well you have the benefit of the time that it's already been here and it has matured you it has given you another place and perspective on how to deal with certain things and you're able to bring that wisdom and that responsibility to the table so just know in 2019 there's still some big kid stuff going on there's still some serious serious adulting happening, but you're absolutely capable, okay? Now, before we jump in and talk about what's happening in 2019, I have got all of the dates for 2019 and for every month up on my blog at stormygrace.com. You can also click in the description box down below and it'll take you right over there. So I've got the major astrological um, aspects and transits that'll be happening all throughout the year. So you can check them out there and I even show you how to use your chart and find what you're looking for and find how it impacts your chart okay all right so now what we're gonna look at in this particular horoscope is I want to look at the big trends that you've got going on because they're the underlying lessons you're gonna have that impact you all year long now this begins right as we're coming into 2019 with Jupiter having recently moved into the sign of Sagittarius so he's at home he's very comfortable and he's lighting up your 12th house space now this brings abundance Jupiter in the 12th house is like guardian angel energy right it's like anything you need to do anything you need to accomplish my goodness all of the responsibility and intensity that has come with this last year you are protected you are able to make these moves you're always protected you're always surrounded by love and angels and all of that but this is a year where you know it you know that you are solidly taken care of. Not to mention Neptune is over here in Pisces. So surrounding and wrapping your mind and your vision in this spiritual idea, it's really very much so Capricorn, the idea, the belief, the mantra this year of everything happens for a reason. Nothing's happening to me. It's happening within me. I'm participating, right? It really takes the mentality of victimhood off the table. And we all feel that way sometimes. It takes that off the table and puts you in this space where it's like spiritual mature thinking and it's, it's it's expansive Jupiter's expansive here so you have got this guardian angel go for it we've got you helping kind of energy which is really important when Saturn and Pluto and then at the end of the year Jupiter are all in your sign it's beautiful energy but it is intense okay Speaking of which, we've got both Pluto and Saturn, of course, continuing to travel through your sign as we're coming into 2019. Now, wherever Pluto goes, he's empowering, but he does it through transformation, right? It's the Phoenix energy. One version of you had to die off so that another version could live. And at the same time, Saturn working here is trying to level you up. It's bringing you to this next spiritually mature place. Saturn's not just leveling you up for no purpose. He's bringing you permanent spiritual mature understanding of what's going on. So you yourself have been elevated and will continue to be. Now, what does this look like? This could look like elevation in your career. It's the first house. So it's everything that you touch, you're elevating. It could be your career. It could be your family life. This could be um, taking on new responsibilities or becoming um, an absolute authority in something in the world, even if it's just grandchildren or something like that, right? You're coming at this with a place of ultimate um, authority, ultimate maturity, but it is definitely a, an energy of leveling you up, okay? Now, as we're coming into the year as well, we've got Uranus who's moved back. By the time you see this, Uranus will have moved back into Aries and will be coming into 2019 with him in retrograde. Now, this is in your fourth house zone. 
Uranus has been working on your fourth house zone for seven years, okay? This is the home, family, real estate, property, mother, mothering, your internal security, right? It's been working on this energy. It's been shaking it apart. It's been unstable in your life for a very long time, but it's been trying to innovate and bring you to the next level vibrationally. It says this structure won't work anymore. We need something different, right? So Uranus, as we're coming into the year and he is retrograde, this is your opportunity. Look back over the last seven years and what progress have you made? Right? What progress have you made? How far have you come, Capricorn, in the area of your home life? I also think it is a wise and pertinent thing for you to be doing is to look over where you still have behaviors that are compromising your home zone. Where do you need to allow Uranus to show you that these thoughts, behaviors, and actions still don't work and you've got to create and let go and let something more solid come into that? It's a great way to begin the year because in the home zone, you, want, you don't want to go through a whole nother year where things are shaky in the foundational level of your life you want clarity right all right let's jump in and break the year down so right at the beginning of the year on the fifth we've got a solar eclipse that's happening in your sign right so the solar eclipse is our new moon so this is the time where we're going to plant these seeds of intention what do you want this to be where do you want this to go new beginnings are happening here and because it's not just a new moon it's a solar eclipse this is a new fresh blessed beginning for the first six months of your year six months that's half of the year this is a great start so where do you want to where do you want to come out where have you picked up enough responsibility that you understand how to level up and how to move into that next space how to take yourself out there and attract a client um, clients who are along the lines of the vein of who you want to be serving um, it could definitely be an energy over the next six months that offers you an opportunity to demonstrate your skills or your talent or take your business to the next level. You are coming to the next level with this energy over the next six months. Now on January 21st, we've got a lunar eclipse that's happening and it acts as our full moon for the month. So it says something has to be ended, acknowledged or adjusted. We're going to take a shift and it's going to peel and shift over this next six months. Now this is happening in the sign of Leo. So for you, this is the eighth house and I'm going to just give it to you dirty Capricorn. You have got to trust yourself and you have got to find the place where you're willing to be vulnerable enough to trust others, especially romantically. Where can this space be opened? Where can you shed and shine and be vulnerable? And I do feel like this lunar eclipse for some of you may also be bringing back a past relationship or maybe putting it back together. Now, of course, this could be a business partnership. It's anywhere where there's joint resource. The idea here, the word here is adjustment, change, challenge, um, with trust. I really feel like trust is a thing here, but it could also end a joint resource that you have because for some of you, it may be like, yep, it's time to end this relationship or end a joint connection that we've had in some way, shape or form. Either way, the lunar eclipse is clearing space, adjusting space so that you have the best version to work with the best, truest, energetic version for you to make decisions from. Now, as we get to March 7th, Uranus is going to move back into the sign of Taurus. So first and foremost, remember where Uranus goes, he brings excitement, he brings electricity, he brings change. He's coming to break down the structures that have been in this department of your life because he says they no longer work. We need to innovate, we need something fresh and new here so it's effective. Now the very first thing I think of um, is children when I'm looking at this fifth house for you it does there need to be a new level of discipline responsibility or something like that with your children have your children are your children older are they at a new phase so it's changed where you're at um, Uranus is not a completely stable energy so you could see a lack of stability with something around children this year for sure but it's a very surprise kind of energy you know now, also true love, I'm telling you what, you could have a romance walk into your life like that and you're just like, what, where did this come from? How did this get up here? Or a change in your romantic life and you're just shocked about it. You could just honestly be shocked. But I love Uranus as well in the idea of conception, whether this is conceiving babies, adopting children, conceiving a new idea. It's you giving birth and putting out something that you are 
passionate about or figuring out what you're passionate about to put out there and to bring forward. Either way, Uranus is going to be bringing for the next seven years until 2026, some 2025, until um, some interesting energy here in this fifth house area of your life, okay? Now, when we get to April, May, and June, they're relatively quiet. We do have moons and all of that kind of stuff, but we'll talk about that in the monthlies. We do have Jupiter, Pluto, Saturn, and Neptune taking retrogrades at that time. But we get exciting again when we get to July and we get back into the eclipse cycle. So first and foremost, we've got an eclipse, a solar eclipse happening on July 2nd here in Cancer. So this is just across the street. This is relationships, one-on-one -on -one partnerships, conscious chosen relationships, right? So these are not just the ones you're thrust into by karma. You've chosen these people to be in your life for some reason, okay? With a solar eclipse here, this is that new moon energy for the next six months. And this is a total eclipse. So it's a complete reset. So you're having a complete emotional reset to your relationships. This could be, you know, you've got all this maturing energy happening with Saturn in your sign. You've got this change of... Um, relationship with Uranus changing sign, you could be interacting, reacting to relationships differently. You could have a different perspective on them with Uranus being, or excuse me, with the um, solar eclipse being here, it's a fresh start to relationships. So again, it does make me think of maybe a romantic possibility coming to the surface. If you're already coupled up, this could be a beautiful fresh start to some kind of relationship. And it's also, I think, a different relationship of you with you. When Saturn asks you to spend so much time maturing, you definitely get a different outlook on yourself. I told you we started the beginning of the year looking at what kind of patterns you have that may be compromising a foundation for you in your life. You're going to know yourself a little bit different by the time we get to July, okay? Now, July 26th, we've got a lunar eclipse happening in your sign. And from July 16th all the way till the end of the year, it's just Capricorn, 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 right? But this is when things are starting to land. So right here, this lunar eclipse happening on July 16th in your sign is showing you from the beginning of the year, that first six months, you've had ideas, you've had projects, you've had opportunities, you've had responsible things, you've had maybe some doubt, some depression, some heavy energy. Not everything is meant to stick. Something will shift out. This lunar eclipse, which is a partial, is going to take some of those things off the table. So not everything is meant to land. Not yet, right? Not every promotion is meant to stick yet, right? So here, you're going to shed some of the things that are not meant to stick and work. You're going to release them. Now, when we get to December 3rd, Jupiter moves into Capricorn. We get to the 26th, we've got another eclipse in Capricorn. We get to July 12th, 2020, we've got Saturn and Pluto in conjunction, followed very quickly by Saturn, Pluto, and Jupiter in conjunction in Capricorn. So it's you, 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 Capricorn. And by the time we hit December, your promotion, your responsibility, your leveling up, your new business idea, your um, speaking or taking yourself to the next level has landed when we get to December. Okay, so it's a good year. It's a year where Saturn is still working on you, but you're much more able to accept being in the game. I think it's a lot less stressful because you've kind of seen the pattern of what is going to adjust through 2018. Now you know. Now you put your big hip boots on and you're ready to walk and march and take us maturely um, through what's been going on and leveling you up. All right, Capricorn, like this video, comment, share, subscribe. If you want to know how this is going to affect your personal chart, you've got to get somebody to read it or you've got to read your chart yourself so you can see the actual application to your specific situations, okay? If I can help you with a reading, come see me at stormygrace.com or click in the description box down below. I love you guys and I'll see you throughout the year. Bye.